Hello everyone, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the Go High Level Funnel Template Library. In this video, we'll uncover the vast selection of funnel templates available in the library, show you how to customize them to fit your brand, and then offer tips on how to choose the right template for your specific needs. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. All right, so once again, we're inside the teaching account for our version of Go High Level. Now, since we are SaaS members, and this works for agency members, again, as I mentioned earlier, I have the ability that when I create a new funnel, I'm presented with the funnel template library. So I'm gonna create the new funnel right here, and I'm just gonna go straight to the template library. Now, I'm gonna click this open. Now, here's the thing. Oftentimes, when we're building out a funnel, we don't know where to start. We have the colors, we have the logo, we have all that stuff provided by the client, but we don't know what to build and we're kind of starting off with a completely blank slate. And that can be terrifying. Um, I've been doing this for over 20 years and in those years, there's sometimes when you just have a blank and you've gotta get something done. So what you'll do is kind of get inspired by something. You're not going to completely build it verbatim exactly as it presents, even though you could do it, you're gonna take it and you're gonna use it as a jumping off point. You're gonna change the pictures, you're gonna change the background, maybe you're gonna change the colors. You can do all that stuff. But the first thing you gotta do is you gotta choose one. So as I look in here, we have all these different categories and if these have little drop down menus here. We have categories, um, types, tags, and even more tags right down here and more and more and more. And the tags can help you, you know, if you're just looking for, uh, if you're starting off with an accounting or you want something that's aesthetics or something like that, aesthetics is something good for like a dentist or a spa. Um, when you're looking through here, look less of exactly what the profession is and look more on the look and feel uh, presented by your initial client because your client kind of has a style of their own that you can use as a jumping off point. So then as you're choosing a template, you can kind of get the right look and feel. And then also you're gonna look through to see what's gonna fit your needs as a starting off point that has the right pieces of content. So as we look in here, we have all these different categories. We have from automotive to home services, any kind of profession that you could think of. And all you gotta do to see more of them is just hit the see more button. And we have travel and hospitality. And we also have, you know, just all the categories. So I'm gonna close that. After that, we have the types. Now, this part, believe it or not, is a little bit more interesting to me. Uh, the reason I like this part is because I can find the exact type of page that I need to use in my funnel. So if I was doing an event funnel, I would click on event, and these would be specific for events. Or if it was lead capture, which is 90% of what we do here, <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the lead capture and I probably I probably do use this one the absolute most and then I already showed you everything about the tags below and as you look through here there's some pretty good stuff I'm gonna go to lead capture and I actually like this auto dealers one a lot now I could be building this for anyone but I just really like the way this one looks and the way I can look at it is I hit this little eyeball right over here and as I look at the eyeball I can see this the this is the basic kind of design. I've got a cool header picture over here with something to get started. And then I have the logos right here. I've got my pictures with some basic filler content, why to choose us. But this isn't exactly how it looks. It looks a little smushed in here uh, because it's kind of in between a tablet and the way it would look on a desktop. It presents much better after you load it. So I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna say that I wanna use this template. So I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna use this checkbox right here that basically signifies I understand the rules of using this template. And I'm gonna click on get this template. And it's gonna load the snapshot for me. Now if for some reason you don't see the template load immediately, all you gotta do is refresh the screen and it's gonna present right there. And as you can see, it comes up pretty easily. I click it open and it gives me the landing page, a scheduling page, and a thank you, already pre-built. If I open this right here and I click on edit and tab, you can see that it's all set up ready for you. 
Now it even has images, which we believe are free. We gotta be 100% sure. You wanna try to make sure that any images that you use, that you definitely either know that it is able to be used on a legal standpoint or something that's really from your client. And my client probably wouldn't even be dealing with cars. I don't deal with auto people, but I can still use the layout of the template. And as you can see, it has all the different sections. Why choose us? Uh, a nice brick area right over here. What we do, we have some nice boxes here with explanations. And even though we may not have it as for a car company, we can still use the layout. Testimonials, frequently asked questions, and a nice footer over here. Now if I hit preview, I can actually see how it lays out in the real world. So as you can see, this is a pretty cool funnel template. Ready to go, ready to use. But there's a couple things in here that as a funnel builder, I'm probably gonna just take out, like the menu and a lot of parts of the footer because what we wanna do in a funnel is we don't wanna have the ability for people to go to other places. We just wanna present them with the information that we need them to fill out or for them to learn about. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna show you that you can just delete the parts that you don't want. So if, like this is a menu area. So if I choose to, I can just delete this right here. That gives me the button right there. And then I'm gonna add a logo. And I'm gonna just move it up to the top here. And I'll just replace this by on the left hand side going to logo and I can just use any logo. Let's see if I have something in here. And I'm gonna grab this white logo here so you can see it on the black background. And as you can see, I was able to put the logo right in there. Now I have them stacked on top of each other, so I'm just gonna add a two column layout. I'm gonna drag the logo right into here. I'm gonna drag the button into here. And there I go. I have, I've just manipulated my funnel to something a little bit more user friendly. Let me put it back, I deleted it by mistake. And as you can see, I was able to present it right there. Now I'm gonna go through a couple more of these templates just to show you the variety of stuff that are in here. So again, I'm gonna click new funnel. I'm gonna go to the template library and we have everything from automotive. Now we have the one that we already built, I already showed you, but we have things that are like basic white, almost nothing on there, just a little bit of blue coloring. And then we have stuff with people presenting right over here. And you can actually learn a little bit about the funnel right in here, a little bit about the template. And if I go to the back button, I can actually see the preview of it. And there's the preview. We've got beauty and fashion, some really cool designs in here, especially if you have clients that have more an aesthetic appearance. This is a spa. Stuff that's maybe a little bit more creative and you can really just start exploring. Now, as I said before, I really don't use the categories all that much. I'm just gonna close this up and look at the types. Now again, the reason I like the types is I have a very specific way that I want my funnel to work. I just have to delete the parts that I don't want. So here are the sales pages. And a lot of times sales pages are very long and it's hard to kind of figure out how to lay out everything. So if you use one of these, you'll be able to see all the different parts and make sure that you're able to use that within your funnel. And you may see something in one template and then something in another. So what you would do is just download those two templates and kind of learn from them and figure out how they laid it out to then move it into the other funnel. So if I like this one, again, I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna click this checkbox. This is just to make sure that they understand that all the images are royalty free, but that's not guaranteed. So you just gotta make sure you're using the right images. And you're gonna click get this template. And again, if it doesn't load immediately, all you gotta do is hit reload. And after the snapshot loads, it's gonna present right there. As you can see, physical therapy. And I'm gonna hit ignore and then go into it. And then with this one, we have a home page and an appointment page and a thank you page. All right there, ready to go. 
This is a very nice landing page. All we gotta do is get rid of the menu up top. We have the ability to use the background picture. We have all these different information about them, how to use icons, a discount. Uh, maybe this would be for the spa manager. It says creative manager, which is weird in a spa one, but you can put in the doctor or whoever is the technician who you're gonna be working with. And it also has the pricing plans, which may or may not work for a sales page presentation. And if we go back, we also have the appointment. Now I'm gonna open this one up and edit in new tab. Now that we have this funnel page loaded, you're gonna see immediately that this section here is empty. It needs a calendar to go with. Now we've already built a calendar inside of a recent video. So I'm gonna click on this. And then if you go here to calendars, I'm just gonna choose a calendar I've already built. And it's gonna go right in there. And if I want to make this information go more than the top, I'm just gonna go over here and go do content spacing, hit left, and there it is at the top. And as you can see, we have our calendar ready to go. And our page is ready to go. And if I hit the preview, as you can see, the calendar is right there inside. So as we mentioned before, as we're building out a funnel, we really gotta look at what our client needs how they will be presenting their information. So as you're looking through here, the biggest tip I can give is to make sure that all the sections are kind of there, but if they're not realizing that you can go in and add the parts that you need. So as you're looking through, make sure that it has all the information that you need to convey and you should be ready to go. Just a quick recap, today we explored the vast selection of funnel templates within the library, learn how to customize these templates to fit your brand, and discuss tips for choosing the right funnel for your needs. So don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe, and we'll be seeing you in the next video.